it's a strange one because I first started feeling stuff back in my teens. But it wasn't until I was a bit older in my um, kind of early 20s did I know. And it, it came about, I'd, I'd been struggling in work and a boss of mine said to me, do you think you could be depressed? And when she said it to me, it, it literally slapped me around the face. And the only answer that I was able to give her was absolutely. And <clears throat> it, all of a sudden I realized that all those things that I'd been feeling now had a name. And when I, was, when I didn't want to do things, when I didn't want to go out, when I didn't want to go rugby training or play or, or do all the things that my mates were doing, it now had a face and it had an identity. Um, for, for ages, I just thought I was being weird or I didn't know what was going on. Or, or lazy or just didn't know what was going on. Exactly. And, you know, why don't you want to go out? Why don't you want to go and go boozing with your buddies at 18 and stuff like that? Like, why is it that you want to just stay in, in your, your house? It, all of a sudden, it made sense. And, and so for me, realising what was going on was actually a massive relief. And I know that sounds weird, but all of a sudden it was like, oh, I, I'm not crazy. I'm just, or I'm not totally different. I'm just struggling. What about you? Well, because I'm really stubborn, um, I didn't really think it was me it was any mental health because it, it affected me physically. Um, because in my head, I was okay. Yeah. Falling on, being stubborn, I weren't asking for help. Um, and I was having physical um, you know, problems um, with my stomach. Um, so I went over all the doctors and that's when, you know, internal bleeding, etc., and not sleeping and for the, the physical, um, you know, issues. I remember the doctor telling me, all this is, um, you know, avoiding the problem. All this is avoiding the reason for the problem, which is stress and anxiety, and you're only going to fix that when you fix that. But, it, it, but it's like that, isn't it? It's easier to tell your mates that you've got a jippy, a jippy belly, because yeah. yeah. they get that, yeah. and you could have that because of a dodgy curry, or because you drunk too much on yeah. the weekend, but it's harder to tell your mates, oh boys, my, yeah. my, head, my head's struggling. Harder to, harder to tell yourself as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because it's like, I, I'm a wuss. It's that I, manly thing, isn't it? Yeah, bravado. It's that man up thing that we're always on. It's exactly that. But. So what have you done to help manage or improve your situation? I'm really proud of, you know, myself. Though when I really did have enough and I was scared about what was going to happen, and I thought, right, something has got to be done here. My sort of, how my brain works is I wrote a list. Um, and I threw everything at everything. So I did, I did, you know, CBT, um, I looked into my diet, I looked into exercise, looked into mindfulness, mm. looked into meditation. Um, and I had a plan, I had a list, and I ticked them all off. Um, and I think it's a, it's a culmination of all, all of them things that I rely on now for I'm having a bad day or if, if anything happens, you know, I'd pick and choose. I'd do a bit more meditation yeah. or I'd go out for a ride on the bike go. And that's what we you know, we say on the group we haven't got answers. We mm. we haven't got that answer. It's it is it's work, you have to work. And I think that's an element of how you get out of it is having that pride in, well that was bad, but I worked hard and now I'm the other side. Yeah. See for me, similar but different. And I tell you the reason why, because so I fought it with everything I, I had. And eventually, I, I, I got to the point where it was just like, 
do you know what, right? I'm gonna stop trying to work it out for myself and I'm gonna accept other people's help. The doctor said, try taking one of these in the morning. All right, you probably know about this better than me, right? I'm gonna stop finding all the reasons not to, and I will. You might wanna go and talk to these people, he also said. Well, I may, I'll go and speak to my friend. No, I'll go and speak to the people and the, the psychiatric nurse that he referred me to, to have a chat, who gave me some coping mechanisms and strategies yeah. on how to deal with things and stuff like that. Um, I realized that um, my mom was great to chat to. I realized that I had other friends that weren't my best mate, but were better at being able to deal with these types of conversations. Yeah. So they're not the kind of guy I go down the, the pub with or wherever, but someone that I could sit down and have a proper deep and meaningful and put myself out there that I needed a bit of, a bit of help from people. And so that was, I think that was the big thing for me. It was stopping having to be tough, be a bloke, and just going, do you know what, I need help. And once, you, once I started asking for it, it came from all angles. Um, and that's brave, I think. It, I was terrified, man. Yeah. Because for, I had to go, uh, in my head, I had to say, I'm a wuss, I need help. I can't deal with this on my own. I can't deal with life on life's terms right now. I need someone to come and help me deal with what you do and it's water off a duck's back. Yeah. But to me, it's pickling my head. How helpful as the group. Let's talk men's mental health being the car. It's given me a bit of focus. I've not been over dramatic, you know, save lives. We have save lives, I know. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been a little part of that. I can help other people now, and I like helping people. Yeah. Um, and it's a good laugh. And it's happy and it's sad and it's... It's... Um, Special, I think. Mm. You know, about you. Well, because <clears throat> it's been with me for a long time, um, I found the group during a particular low spot, which had kind of taken me a little bit by surprise. And I joined joined the group, a little bit nervous and stuff. Didn't know whether or not I should be posting. Didn't know whether or not I should do that little introductory post of, oh yeah, how's it going? Um, and I, I found there was another lad that liked one of my posts and me and him started chatting, Nathan. Um, and we said, there's gonna be a, a group over in Tonnerevel. Um, and we thought, oh, we'll go just to show a bit of support. It's been miles out of our way, but we thought, you know, it's a good cause and stuff like that. Um, and I met a bunch of blokes, you included. But no, I, I've genuinely made friends. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the best bit is, is that it's all friends that I know have similar experiences. Yeah. So there's no judgment about it. I, I love it, it's part of the thing. No judgment, no stigma, no pressure. Yeah. Right? No one is judging me for being bonkers. No one is judging me for having an off day. There's no pressure to talk if I'm having a bit of a ropey day. There's no, you know, and no stigma. No one, no one's gonna call you a wuss for saying you need to no. smell. And I tell you the one thing that someone said uh, on one of the calls a couple of weeks ago, one of the, like the group calls and yeah. stuff. And they said, it's like having an army in your pocket. And you know what, right? That, that rung in my head, something chronic, that literally, if I am having a bad day, yeah. I pull out my phone, I send a message to the group or wherever and say, boys, and there's literally an army of people that all got my back. Now, I find that I have less ropey days because on my ropey days, whereas before I'd kind of like clam up, now I talk to the group. And that's where I get a little bit of that pick me up or wherever from to just go like, ah, it's all right, bud. Yeah. Tomorrow's coming, stick with it, kiddo or you see a post and all of a sudden you realize that someone else might need your help and they yeah. might be feeling worse than you are. Yeah. And all of a sudden that can pick you up. And it's like, oh, Joe, I'm having a down day, but flipping heck, my buddy down by here, he needs someone right now, like. 
Right, I gotta switch into I'm helping mode now. It's mega. I'm really proud of it. Yeah. Really proud. I'm really proud to be part of it. Cheers, bud. Cheers, buddy.